Good evening YouTube, it's Craig here from Max Bushcraft Survival and Wild Skills and today I'm going to talk about survival kits. This is my possible slash survival kit that I carry around with me. Uh, there are many kits on the market at the moment. Some of them are very cheap, some of them are very expensive. If you've got the money to buy the expensive ones then that's good. If you don't then build your own. Don't buy the cheap ones because you'll come unstuck. I'm just going to pause this and then I'll turn my camera around and then what we'll do is talk about the individual items that you can see here on the table and if you look at that green pouch the bottom there the first aid one all of that stuff fits in that pouch so I'll just put you on pause for a minute give me a chance to sit down and then we'll talk about the kit individually so as you can see my survival kit that I have in front of me it all fits in this little first aid pouch um, it's three inches, three and a half inches by two and a half inches by three inches. Uh, it comes everywhere with me when we go out bushcrafting. Um, and I'll talk about what we have inside it. Okay, one of the things that I have on the outside is a little carabiner. It has a little compass on it and a little light. I put some paper in the barrel to... Um, prevent the batteries from depleting. Uh, it's quite bright. Uh, it's a little compass, it works. It's not the best compass. Uh, we'll talk about compasses when I show you the bigger one in a minute. But little carabiner. Have a cobra weave roll of paracord. It's about 25 feet there and I've also got a little s beaner on it, uh, number three. Paracord can be used for so many things. Um, from tying things up, starting fires, the lot. There's about a thousand and one things you can use this roll of paracord. So I've got a, a couple of it, a couple of them. So make sure you've got some decent paracord. Don't go for the cheap stuff, you'll regret it. Right, inside the pouch, because they're on the outside. On the inside, I have a Primus Fire Steel. Um, Quite a big one, quite thick, and a dedicated striker. Need a way of lighting fire. The other one that I have is a Doan bar. Now this is a genuine American Air Force Doan bar. Uh, when I first got into bushcraft, I had a little cheap one. It cost me, I think back then, about one pound fifty, and it was silver, bright silver. And it didn't work. I tried scraping it for hours and hours. I tried scraping it, and a little bit of the shavings came off it. Tried striking it with a fire steel, not this one, and it just didn't light. I uh, tried using a little Bunsen burner to get it going, that didn't work. And I watched a YouTube video, a gentleman trying these out, and he always said, Go for the proper ones if they're slightly dark, grey. That's the one that you want. Coglin do a good one as well, but I've gone for the Doan one. The majority of this stuff that you see here has been bought from the Bushcraft store. Uh, it's a, a website that I use quite a lot. They're very good, very helpful, and they'll listen to what you, you're asking them. They don't fob you off. Trash bag. Um, it can be used for many things, for keeping yourself dry, collecting water, gathering leaves, uh, water stills, um, collecting rubbish, needs a place in your bag, always bring one with you. Have a, a DC4 fault nibbing sharpening stone, um, really good sharpening stone with a leather case inside this, I won't pull it out, I've got four little tacks and what I do is when I'm out and I need to sharpen my knife, I've got a little bit of wood, I tack them in just to keep that firm uh, and then I can sharpen my knife on both sides. So I have a decent dedicated sharpening stone. Have a little folder knife, this is a Boca Magnum. Um, knives are 
probably your best friend when you're out in a bushcraft situation because you can do so many things with them. This one's also got a tin opener on it. Uh, be careful depending on your knife, what knife you get because the knife laws um, all over the world are different. You can't brandish these around. Um, you need to keep it enclosed. Um, you can also use it to use your fire steel. The problem you've got with a folder is as you can see here it's got like a little safety mechanism and what I've seen many people do is strike it and pushing that over. Well you can see what happens when you push the safety mechanism over. If you're putting pressure on that you're going to cut your finger and cause yourself some serious injury. If you're going to do it just turn the thumb around and push make sure that the safety mechanism is further into the blade and strike it always strike it on the spine never on the blade you break your knife you've lost your best friend inside this little pouch that I have I know a lot of people don't like Bear grills. Um, can't take away from some of the things that he's done youngest man to climb Everest um, he's a showman uh, but some of the stuff that I have here I was bought this as a, a birthday present and I've uh, taken a lot of the stuff out and put it in here on the outside I have a little Pico torch um, again I put a little bit of paper inside the barrel to make sure the batteries don't pollute illumination's good when you're in the dark especially if in the woods somewhere I also have a set of pro knot cards. I don't know all the ropes, all the knots and everything, so if you're sitting at home, you've got nothing to do, take these out, a little bit of paracord and learn how to do the knots. Don't think you'll do one, just keep practicing it, do it for a couple of hours on each knot, let it become second nature. Got some SE survival cards here. Um, very good things to have. They've got um, ground wear signaling, Morse code, um, traps, uh, river crossing if you need to, flow a river, building a fire ward, a shelter, um, basic navigation. The only thing that it's got in here that I'm a bit unsure about why they put it on is camouflage and concealment and escape and evasion. You're going to need that unless you're running away from someone. Uh, but they're in the kit. Some of the information on it is very good. Duct tape. Um, I think this has been a godsend in the uh, bushcraft community. I can do so many things with it. You can repair your tent, your kit, tie stuff together with, use it as uh, bandages, plasters. Um, helps with uh, blisters in your feet. Um, all around good stuff. Also, if you take a little bit off, or a bit of it off, put it in a ball, and you need to light a fire, put a spark on that, and it will catch fire for you. And because of the resin on the sticky bit side of it, it will hold the, fire, hold the flame for quite a while. It's a good thing to have. Uh, have a dedicated signaling mirror um, for rescuing. Um, this is one of the American Air Force ones. Uh, the instructions are on the back. I've, you probably won't be able to see all of them. Um, good thing to have. These can be seen for about 25 miles away. Um, you put the aircraft in the center there and flash it. Uh, hopefully they can see you. Also connected to that, I've got a whistle. It is very loud, I won't blow it in the house. This one also has a little fire steel on it as well. And a little striker. Uh, one of the things I will say is when you're out and you need to be rescued or you need to be let people know where you are, don't blow the whistle like a demented referee. It's just a waste of time, you're wasting your breath. No one's going to take much notice of it. What you need to do is blow it, count to five, and repeat that. Well, repeat. Well, it, you do it for six times. So, blow the whistle, 
two, three, four, five, six, blow, two, three, four, five, six. Do it six times. Um, the response will be the same, but only three blasts with a five second delay on each one. Um, if you need to be found, I've got two of them. I've also got the tops one. Uh, again, two is one, one is none. Um, a lot of redundancy in here, which you will see. Little bag here with a Ghibli saw in it. Uh, and a little bit of copper wire. I'm going to take the copper wire out because it's not very good and put some decent stuff in it. And some fishing line. Ghibli saws are very good if you uh, have ever used one before. They're used by the British Army Medical Team. Uh, and they've been used for a very long time, medical purposes. I'll say it amputations, but uh, don't try that on one of your friends. Uh, it's good for procuring your wood. Uh, I've left the D-rings with it, or the O-rings I should say with it, because you can make a little bow saw with it, uh, and it can make all the difference. Also got a little vial with uh, some weights in it, and fishing hooks. Uh, find out what your bylaws are wherever you live uh, with setting up lines because in a lot of countries, especially in the United Kingdom and places around the UK, Kingdom, United Kingdom, it's breaking the law. You put lines out. Um, if you're on private land, just ask for permission. What have you got to lose? Only do the lines if you desperately need something to eat. As I said to you about the compass, this one is a marbles compass. Um, this is about £15. I went for a decent compass. I do have a bigger compass that I use. When you're cold, you're wet, you're tired, you're hungry, you're thirsty, you're scared. A lot of people don't trust their compasses, so it's always good to have a second point of reference. If you don't believe that one and the other one's pointing the same direction as this one, then you know that you're okay. Um you know, it's a good thing to have a decent compass. You can get the British Army one, the NATO one is the, I think it's the, the McDonald uh, SAS compass. They're about 40 quid. Uh, they're even better because they're not liquid filled. Two of lifeboat matches uh, and inside there there's some cotton wool. Again, you need more than one source to light fire. A lot of redundancy in this kit that you'll see. It's cotton wool in there as well, and there's a striker on it, and it's waterproof. I also have a, or I've also kept the uh, waterproof matches from the Bear Grylls kit, um, just to be on the safe side. I have a pencil sharpener, uh, A2 sharpen my pencil if I need to write notes, but also with a little twig when you stick it in there, you can get some shavings off it to start a fire. Uh, just little hacks, good thing to have, pencil sharpener. Have some twine or some thread on a little bobbin uh, to repair clothes. Again, you can use that for a uh, fishing line as well. I've kept the um, dental floss from the Bear Grylls kit because uh, it's good stuff, it's very strong. Also got a couple of sewing needles and a sail needle in here. Uh, if your clothes get damaged or your kit gets damaged, you need to repair it. And with the cotton you can do that. Some safety pins uh, can be made into fish hooks if need be. Uh, used for tying bandages, tying your clothes together if you lose a button, putting kit on, all sorts. Have another torch. Uh, this one is a mini mag light. Um, I've not put paper on the battery on this one because I check this out quite a lot. And you need, to, you know, it's good to have a little torch. If you worry about your night vision and you get your first aid kit, if you put a little bit of white of the white um, M3 tape on that, the 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 sort it's like a an off white. Uh, it will help with your night vision. Uh, if you don't have a, a red light on your head torch or whatever. Got a Gerber clutch. Um, good little multi-tool. 
Uh, it's also got um, nail file, scissors, tweezers. Nice little multi-tool to have in the kit. I have some Uncle Bill's tweezers for removing ticks. Um, splinters. Uh, ticks are, are uh, showing their ugly heads again. Um, and they're coming out in force. The thing that you've got with ticks, if you don't remove it on time, you can get what they call Lyme's disease. And it starts off, if you, if you have a tick and you don't remove it within a week, you start feeling ill, like flu-like symptoms. And then if you get Lyme's disease and you don't get it treated by a GP, uh, it can be very, very serious. So find out how to remove ticks and... Have some water purification tablets. Uh, there's um, 12 purification tablets here on this little kit that I have. I normally have a platypus foldable bottle which I've left in my rucksack just for the purpose of this video and it normally connects to that pouch. Now you need to purify your water if you've no way of boiling it and you don't have a straw and you're unsure about the water. It tastes like bleach. Uh, but the one thing that you don't want in your stomach is a, a parasite where you've got diarrhea um, and sickness. So if you don't know how to purify water, there's many, many tips on the internet. Learn how to do it. Have a little rubber to go with writing the rain paper and the pencil. You know, just to write little messages, the little notes for yourself. You make a mistake, just rub it out. Uh, in a last ditch situation this can be burnt uh, I mean a last ditch don't do it just for the sake of doing it have a, a P38 tin opener use these uh, for many years very good things to have in your kit I know there's one on the knife but two is one and one is none have a little um, razor blade for Preparing food, uh, fish, rabbits if you catch them, birds. Have a, a Fresnel lens. These are very good for uh, reading, say on these um, the cards, if you forget your glasses and you, you know, as you can see, compared to that, you know, the further you get away, the bigger it goes. Uh, good for removing ticks and splinters. Also good in the sunshine for starting a fire. And last but not least, I have seen many YouTube videos where people tie their knife, if that's the only one that you have, to a piece of wood and they go out trying to catch rabbits and food and spearfish and stuff like that. If you lose this, you've lost your lifeline there, folks. I would never, ever do that. Tie something, my knife to a stick. What I do have is one of these little SE arrowheads. It is very sharp. Um, you can make a spear out of that. You can also use it as a, a little blade if you want to. But I would rather make a spearhead with a piece of wood to catch rabbits and lose that and lose that. I don't know if any of you remember the uh, Tom and Jerry cartoons when Tom used to get killed by Jerry and he used to lie on the floor with his arms like that and his spirit used to go up and he used to fly up to heaven. If you make a spear with that and lose it, that's what you might as well do. They're about £14 these. Get a couple of them, put them in your kit. Ask for them for Christmas presents and birthday presents. Good things to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video, I'm going to put it all back in this little pouch and it will all go in there so you'll see that everything is in this pouch um, and I'll add it all together and I'll speak to you in a minute. There you go folks, as you can see it all fits back in here, rather tightly fitted um, and that's it. Um, hope you like the video. Uh, please like, please subscribe. Uh, I'll try and get some of these videos 
out again where we get out and do some field tests on all this kit to show you that I can use it. Uh, I've also got a dedicated first aid kit and a fire starting kit and a food procuring kit which I'll try and get on over the next couple of weeks. My name is Craig signing off. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I hope to hear from you soon.